we're probably lucky really that olive oil is the most adulterated food product on earth because our competition is not very good. So once we get them to taste and smell ours, they go, that's different. And most products don't have that advantage. I was brought up in Western Queensland. I farm near Bark Holden. Uh, had a very normal early childhood until my mum died of breast cancer when she was 39. Music bed. My father just brought me up to take responsibility for your own actions and pursue your dreams and work hard. And I think there was a real sense of wanting to please, please dad as well. You know, our interests are really horses and working and helping dad. And you know, from a very young age, we could drive any vehicle on the property and do a day's work and go mustering and all of those things that I think set you up really well in life because you've got to think about the outcomes of all your decisions and, and I think we grew up pretty quick, maybe a bit too quick. Music bed. Having grown wine grapes and converting old, traditional, irrigated grapes to drip irrigation, computer sensors and growing for quality really, really helped a lot when we first started planting olives on knowing that the way you watered them, the way you fertilised them, and when and how you did those things had a big impact, not only on the growth of the tree, but on the um, resultant oil quality. Paul and I have worked together for a long time, so he came and started working at Vineyard in about 1996 or seven. And we started talking and thinking, and we thought, why don't your family and our family plant a small olive grove? and that was sort of how it started. Looking after the trees and growing really fresh, high quality olives, and then picking it and crushing it and turning it extra virgin as fast as possible. And mechanisation is how you get the fastest possible and that improves the quality greatly. A bit like if you have an orange and you squeeze it straight off the tree, the juice is much more amazing than if you leave it a week and then squeeze the juice. With horticulture, it's all about your management and you're controlling the input. So the more science you put to it and the more um, exacting you are, the greater the benefit. We had so many challenges, you know, even importing the right varieties of trees from mother trees in, in Europe to make sure we had the right varieties here. You know, we had 50,000 trees destroyed going through quarantine because there was a fly or a mite or a bug or something on one, so they just destroyed the whole shipment, which they were coming in in 5,000 tree lots. You know, so there was lots of setbacks. We got 50,000 trees through, so being the optimists that we are, we thought, well, that's great. The harder it got, the more we were determined to make it work, prove that Australia could grow good extra virgin olive oil, call out all the cheats who were ripping off the Australian consumer, and just do what's right. Trying to just tell people about it and get them to smell the difference and taste the difference. And any time we do that, we get another group of fans because they go, I didn't realise. You only need one good idea in your life. It doesn't matter if that's when you're 20 or that's when you're 40. You just need one. Just don't have too many bad ideas because that's what either ruins your reputation or kills your energy or both. I think if my father, you know, was alive now, he'd be very proud as any father would, and probably a bit surprised. Music bed. Music bed.